Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you guys are having an incredible day and a better week. I wanted to kind of go over this Legato 3085 golf ball. And so I've been testing this the last couple months to really see how this golf ball performs. And their whole motto, if you've never heard of Legato, you're probably like most, uh, a newer brand kind of getting cracking into the golf ball scene the last few years. This golf ball is really ideal for, to me, the mid-handicap player. Um, their whole, uh, I want to say, slogan or how they want to go to, to market for business is have a good performing, if not a great performing golf ball at a really good price point that doesn't break your bank. So I've been testing this ball out. And again, this is the LTX 3085. And I'll just go over kind of the specs you guys will see here. The feel is their softest ball between this and their other 4090 golf ball. Uh, the flight, and I noticed this uh, right away, was it's a higher ball flight. Uh, the distance is what they consider their longer ball. Uh, it was very similar to me between this and a Pro V1 and a TP5X and certainly the Srixon balls I play. Um, didn't notice a huge difference. Long game spin, same. Can still work the ball with this golf ball, um, but again, I, I, it's a lower spinning ball. This is not a um, uh, incredibly uh, spinning golf ball off your long irons or drivers. Uh, the iron spin I thought was was good. Really hit. Now I'm playing at the end of the year, beginning of the year, where it's soft, and wherever I've played, it's been soft. Um, but really have enjoyed the ball, and certainly the short game spin, which I really have appreciated, is. Um, incredible. I really thought this was a great golf ball. I think these guys were doing a great job for it. But I want to show you some details as well uh, that I think is different with this ball, obviously. Um, one, I love their logo. It reminds me of kind of the Cadillac logo. I think it's super cool. I also really liked um, the bold track here. I think it's a very cool uh, thing they're doing and I and you guys have watched we did a, a review and a kind of a video last year of not only the putting um, stripes and really um, the visualization of golf balls and how they're making these visual aids more prevalent and really you see this from every brand Titleist just redid the Pro V1's kind of sight line um, Taylor Raid has done it. Callaway has done it. Srixon with the with the split has done it. So I think you're going to see more and more in that in 24 and 25. But if you haven't checked out the Legato uh, golf balls, they're really really good golf balls. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. This is not paid for. I actually have been testing these and, and really like this golf ball. To me, it's very close to um, uh, some of the Srixon Tour uh, golf balls that I've been using. I really like this ball. I've donated a couple, so I only have, I mean, I think nine of the 12, maybe eight, of, maybe yeah, nine or 10 of the 12 that I've started with, um, but really, really good golf ball. If you get a chance, check it out, the Legato LTX3085. Great golf ball, great value uh, for you guys out there looking for kind of the new ball. The other thing, and I'll, I'll wrap up here quickly, what I love um, is, this is not a golf ball that everybody plays, um, just like the other brands we've done last year with golf balls. So if you're playing this ball and it's in a fairway or wherever, nine times out of 10, you know it's yours because most people aren't playing it. And I know Legato is saying, no, 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 we want everybody to play it. I, I understand, but for the guys who aren't playing certain brands, this is a very cool way to find your golf ball without um, being the, the rest of the herd, let's say. But and anyway, if you haven't had a chance, check out the Legato, again, LTX3085. Again, not sponsored. Just trying to find something that's different. Uh, there's a lot of kind of neat golf ball brands that are out there, and this is one that uh, we've talked to and really, really like their golf ball. So we'll continue to test this. Um, this ball, I have sent this to uh, friends of mine who are high handicaps and friends of mine who are low handicaps. So at the end of the year, when we do our best golf balls, obviously we'll bring this one back around and see how it performed. But so far really impressed uh, and again i played about a seven or eight handicap so for mid handicap i think this is a great great golf ball anyway guys thanks for watching we will see you next time thanks guys